1943. A world at war. A world in turmoil. We closed the trap on Hitler's North Africa campaign. But what next? Churchill urged an Allied invasion of Italy. Called the Mediterranean the soft underbelly of the crocodile. The Americans took some convincing. But Winston won them over. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, Allied Commander-in-Chief, is masterminding the entire Mediterranean strategy. As for me, I'm headed for San Salini, a secluded island to Italy's southwest. We've been losing ships in the area. British intelligence thinks the Luftwaffe's presence on Sansolini might explain why. The Royal Navy dispatched a captured Italian freighter, the Orchidia, to investigate. She was equipped with the very latest radio interception equipment. The intelligence she gathered confirmed our worst fears. The Nazis have a new wonder weapon. Survivors from the destroyed ships have talked about a new kind of missile. Radio controlled from the plane that launched them. These rockets can track our ships with lethal accuracy. The Orchidia's job was to monitor Luftwaffe radio transmissions and find out what the Germans are up to. Even if that meant making the ultimate sacrifice. Now we need to know what the Nazis are planning, and how we can stop them. A member of the Luftwaffe's top brass is on the island. General Tobias Schmidt. It's no secret Hitler thinks highly of him. Schmidt would never let himself be taken alive. And he'd never betray his beloved Fuhrer. But he might just be carrying some information we can use. My mission? Kill Schmidt, kill all high-ranking officers, and get the hell out. We need to deal with Schmidt, and searching for intel on the new missile.
¿Aló?
One name kept coming up from Sansolini. Andreas Kessler. Genius rocket scientist. Pioneer of guided missile technology. Philanderer. Alcoholic. Committed Nazi. Kessler's specialty was long-range missiles. But SOE thought he couldn't solve the radio control issues. The destruction of the Orchidea suggests we were wrong. Very wrong. There's no doubt the Orchidea was an easy target for a test. But if the Nazis have a controllable long-range missile, it would completely transform the war in their favor. American intelligence, OSS, think Kessler is in Italy, probably under the protection of a brutal Nazi general called Heinz Bohm. I've been dispatched to the coastal town of Batanti to meet our OSS contact. With the invasion of Sicily imminent, it's crucial we find out what the Nazis are up to.
need to get to the railway gun and deal with it. Question is, how? That's loud enough to disguise my rifle fire.
I need to find out where this shipment is going. I wonder what he keeps locked up. That's what I was looking for. The document says the shipments are being sent to the lock room. And they've been having problems with the mafia stealing from the document. Useful to know. Although the noise is liable to bring me some unwanted attention. Thank <laughs> you. 
The mission at the dockyard proves it. Production of Kessler's missiles must be in full swing. The components I found couldn't have been for any other purpose. Sure, we wrecked the operation. But how many of these components have already been shipped to Alagra? How close are the Nazis to mass production of the new missile? One thing's for certain. The Mafia were the ones disrupting the operation at the dockyard. It's a connection OSS are keen to exploit. Especially given Mafia involvement in Operation Husky, in which the Allies took Sicily. Weaver wants me to meet Salvatore Danelli, an infamous mob kingpin. He thinks I can convince him to work with the Allies and the Partisans. But everything comes at a price. Scenery. Gotta deal with Capo. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dinelli is G I grabbed everything useful.
Andreas Kessler. Who the hell are you? Huh? Wakey, wakey. You? You're just a little girl playing at being an adult. What could you possibly do to her? I was a nurse. Did you know that? Before all these started. Which means I know exactly how to hurt you. Do you understand me, little man? He's right, Sophia. Give me the knife. Do you know how he builds his precious rockets? How many slave laborers died to make those missiles fly? We need him. Just like we need Dinelli. This man is a Nazi scum! Dinelli is a mass murdering criminal! We need him. Both of them. You might. Not us. We better than that. You know what? I will tell you something, my neighbor, about your precious father. My father? What do you know? Tell me what you know! safe together. Why do you think I took the blade? Better find out what he told her. Sophia!
just need to find out what he's carrying. Gold. Giavi Fiorini. The town's name will be forever associated with the massacre of the Allegron partisans. They fought bravely by all accounts, but stood no chance against the Nazi war machine. How could they? They'd walked directly into a trap. I couldn't find Sophia, the angel, amidst the carnage. But then many of the bodies were burnt beyond recognition. The Partisans hadn't died in vain, though. Their sacrifice meant we'd been able to grab the intelligence we needed. Boehm knows about Operation Avalanche, the Allied plan to invade mainland Italy. If the fleet is attacked, the results will be catastrophic. The Nazis' grip on Europe will become ever tighter, squeezing the life from her. And there's something else. Something vital. 
USS Ancon is the command ship for Operation Avalanche. Which means, the primary target is the Allied Commander-in-Chief. Bomb is going to kill General Eisenhower. The strike will be launched from a Nazi base in the mountains of Alagra. With the partisans wiped out, Dinelli's mobsters are the only people capable of guaranteeing my safe passage through the mountains. Weaver is setting up a bombing run, but it's up to me to call it in. Maybe I can grab some intel on the Germans' plans for their new toys, as well as making sure nothing can be salvaged. In the end, it comes down to this. I have to stop those missiles. There's a more discreet way, though. Missile tech specs. Technical specifications for the missile. London will be very heavy. <laughs> Gotta make sure the Nazis can't stop the hydrogen peroxide plant. Must be how they're fueling the missiles. Need to find some way of showing the problems here. Need to over overloading the hydrogen peroxide plant to do it.
Kessler's baby. Better make sure it's still with it. This is Red Fox. Send your regards. I repeat, send your regards to Allegra. All I wanted was the Angel. I didn't know the partisans would follow her to their deaths. <laughs> they followed her because she gave them hope. They died heroes. Hope, in reality, is the first of all evils. Because it prolongs the torments of man. Friedrich Nietzsche. <laughs> General Bowen, I presume. The Wurf Terrace are shapeless. Formless. If no one knows who I am, I can be whoever I need to be. I can uh, manipulate. <laughs> I can avoid detection if need be. I could be a man. <laughs> Monster. Dorfman or Bone? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have Kessler, and the production facilities are wrecked. Uh, Kessler will be dead before he's any use to the Allies. And as for your little uh, mischief <laughs> in the production facility, well, it's just too late. Yeah, I'm going to start with the USS. The illustrious General Eisenhower. I take the Allied fleet, ship by ship. Operation Avalanche will be extinguished before it's even begun. See, if only this was enough. But, uh, it's not. Bring her in here! Not anymore. We're going to torture her. Yeah. And, uh... You're going to watch. <laughs> Lieutenant. <laughs> All it takes... is a spark.
fleet, including Eisenhower's command ship, Ancon, was saved. Avalanche happened as planned. The U.S. 5th Army and British 8th fighting their way up the Italian mainland. The Angel was dead. But the spark she ignited spread like wildfire, clearing the way for the Allies. But the path to Rome would be treacherous, and it'd be another year before we broke through the Gothic line, the Germans' main line of defense. did it without us, the townsfolk. Pushed him out before the 5th Army even got here. All it took was a spark. Talking of which, I hope 617 Squadron didn't singe your limey ass. <laughs> Let's just say it was a little tight. I thought you were giving me a bit more leeway. Carl, you and I are utterly expendable. You know that. Not like your man there. The professor <laughs> hasn't got long left. <laughs> Trust me, though, we'll squeeze what we can out of him. More to the point, uh, what about you, Carl? What's you gonna do? The man who saved Ike Eisenhower, woo-wee! <laughs> OSS could sure use someone with your talents. That sounds like a job offer. Doesn't it, though? I'll think about it. Sure thing. Think about it too long. We got a war to win. Damn. 